Grandmother with the Soviet flag. In Russia, she is known as Babushka Z and has become one of the main symbols of support for the war in Ukraine. It all started with this video back in April. Babushka walks towards two Ukrainian soldiers. They offer her some food. Then they take the flag off her and stamp on it. So the woman, feeling insulted, gives back the food. My parents died for that flag. She says. For the Kremlin, this was propaganda gold dust. A rare example of a Ukrainian who regrets the collapse of the Soviet Union and looks at Russians as liberators. Within days, Babushka started to appear everywhere in Russia. Murals, drawings, clothes, toys, bumper stickers, poems and songs dedicated to her. Russian officials even unveiled a statue of her in Mariupol. In a small village near Kharkiv, we tracked down Babushka. Her name is Anna. We show her photos of her fame, and she is gobsmacked. Here's a photo of you trampling on the Ukrainian flag, my colleague tells her. So why did Anna greet Ukrainian soldiers with a Soviet flag? She says she confused them with Russian soldiers. Do you support what Russia is doing in Ukraine? No. That is Anya's home, and here, just outside, you can see shells fired by the Russians. So even though in Moscow she's become a star and a symbol of supposed Russian liberation, her village has not been spared by Vladimir Putin's forces. Well, I think it's the way uh, Russian propaganda works. They just make everything one-dimensional. And that's it. They just do not care about the truth. They do not care about real persons. And as Anna Ivanovna told me, now I see, she says, that they do not care about people here in Ukraine. They care only about our lands. Anna is being attacked online. All her neighbours shun her. Do you regret becoming a symbol in Russia? Конечно, лучше не не будь знаменитим, то щоб потом не попрекали тобі чим-то. Як ну як мені сейчас попрекають, що я предатель. As we say goodbye to her, Anna tries to give us her beloved red flag. I don't want any trouble, she says. I don't want people to ever use it against me.